Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be taking a look at a new pair of glasses that Oakley recently released, specifically Oakley Standard Issue. Um, obviously, as you guys can see by the packaging here and from the title, this is the Oakley Hannibal, and this is the SI Ballistic um, Array Kit. So this particular one is a matte black frame with both gray lenses and clear lenses. Now, when I saw that they had released this model, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up just because it looked pretty interesting. Um, just by reading some of the description of as far as what you can do with this model, um, it seemed pretty versatile. And then from looking at the pictures, I thought that it was going to be a nice, um, clean look to it. And when I got it, I tried it on and it, it reminded me of another pair of glasses that I have that I have really been liking. And um, I'll leave a link to some of the videos that I've done for the Oakley Gibson. So this, in my opinion, is like a more tactical, more rugged um choice for the Gibson. So if you want more of the um, kind of like the off-duty everyday, then you can go with the Gibson. If you want something more tactical, more rugged, depending on what you're doing, then you would go with the Hannibal here. So the Hannibal is available in either the single um, frame with a lens or um, in different array kits. And it's actually available in two different frame colors also, the matte black and then um, like kind of like a desert look. And um, you can pick and choose the color lenses that you want if you're gonna do the array or if you're gonna do the single one. So I'll leave a link below in case you guys are interested. It is available through the Oakley Standard Issue website. Um, I believe the stores actually have the, um, the clear lens version. So um, hopefully they'll, they'll be getting some of the other versions. But right now, if you want the array kits and stuff like that, it's only available through standard issue. So just keep, keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, I want to show you guys the case that it comes with it because it's actually a, a little bit different than the standard cases, which is really nice. But so here is the array case. And then inside you have um, some information. Now the, um, the Hannibal does have a, a technology. It's called switch lock lens change system. So as you guys can see there, and that's how you can actually switch out the um, the lenses. So again, if you're having the array kit, if you want to go from the um, you know from the gray to the clear or whatever other color you pick, then you know it's always good to kind of go read through the instructions. But I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So here is the um, actual case. So uh, again, it's it's a nice hard case. It has the icon kind of like. Um, put in there uh, and you know, so it's not like a separate piece. And then you have this uh, carabiner here, this plastic clip. So if you wanna clip it onto some gear or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. But then in the back, you also have a, um, like a, a spot right here. So if you wanna run like webbing or if you wanna, you know, attach this to your belt or something like that, you can go ahead and, and run it through here. And this is probably about two and a half inches wide, which is good. So um, it'll accommodate different sizes. So that's really cool. So if you have like a backpack um, that has maybe like Molly webbing and you wanna attach this on there without having to clip it on there, you can go ahead and do that. So I thought that was really cool. So as you open up the um, case here, Inside, you're gonna have a couple different things. Um, you have this padding on the top here, which is really nice. Um, and then you have your microfiber cloth here. Um, you also have a strap because um, this has, the Hannibal has the ability to actually attach these straps at the end of the stems. And then you also have a little bit of the um, anti-fog solution here. So you can actually um, apply this to the lenses and it'll help them from fogging up and stuff like that. So obviously depending on what you're doing with your glasses, that always does come in handy. So as I mentioned, this is the matte black frame with um, both the gray lenses and then you also have the clear lenses in here. And what's really cool is that you have enough room to actually put in another pair of lenses there. So if you wanted to have up to three different lenses, one on the frame and then two extra ones, you can go ahead and do that. Because um, besides the, the gray and the clear, they also have a um, TR42 and TR45, which are more shooting specific lenses. Um, obviously because of the tint, they, uh, they allow you to see some of the targets a lot better and um, you know the contrast between the background and the foreground is better. So if you wanted to use them for shooting, then you can purchase those lenses and then you have a spot so you can keep everything together. So I thought that was, uh, that was pretty cool. So let's set this off to the side and then we'll take a look at the frame itself. So here it is. Now, as far as the frame goes, I thought it was, um, it's got some nice lines to it. Um, I almost wish it had 
uh, maybe a little bit more color. And I, and I know that sounds kind of strange because obviously these glasses are more designed for tactical applications, rugged applications and stuff like that because they are ballistic lenses, ballistic frames. They are Z87 um, stamped and rated, both the frame and the lenses. So you can use these as um, a protective eyewear. If you're in an industry where you need protective eyewear and you, your eyewear has to be stamped, you can go ahead and use those. But just um, if you wanted to use them for kind of like every day and stuff like that, I almost wish they had a little bit more color. So maybe in the future, they might do something with these icons. The icons are molded into the stem, so it's not an extra piece or anything like that. So that was really cool. So it has a really nice wrap to it, which is great because it's, again, it's gonna give you a lot of protection on the sides. And then um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a nice high, um, it sits really high on your face, which is good. So it, you know, from top to bottom, you have a nice coverage and then from side to side as well. And then the stems kind of, you know, um, thin out, which is really nice because then they do sit very close to your head. So if you're wearing some sort of um, head protection or even hearing protection or something like that, like you, you got a helmet on or a hard hat, or you're wearing, um, you know, you're using them for shooting, so you're wearing uh, earmuffs or whatever, um, these will um, be able to sit really close and it's not gonna be uncomfortable or anything like that. So um, there it is, a closer look to it. So as I mentioned, they do have the um, switch lock lens uh, change system. So basically um, there's a, a, a lock right here that allows you to, to um, you know, to, to have the lenses in there securely, but um, if you wanted to switch them out, basically what you have to do is have the stems open like this, and then you just put your thumb on here. Now, um, at first, they're gonna be very stiff, which is good, because you want them to be pretty stiff, so you're gonna have to be able to put some force into it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend like you're closing it, and at the same time, you're closing this section here, and it'll actually um, kind of snap open. There it is. So. If you guys can see that here, the section is now open. So it allows you to actually, from the back, push the lens out, and then you just slide it out, and then the lens come out comes out like this. Now, um, it's really easy to switch them out, which is really cool. The only thing is that obviously, as you're doing that, you're um, kind of getting your, your fingerprints all over the lenses. So, you know, just make sure that you have the microfiber cloth handy. And then um, once in a while, you reapply that anti-fog, um, solution so that you have that uh, capabilities on the lenses and then um, when you go to switch them out you know let's say you were to grab the clear ones basically you have this um, portion right here it just kind of sits into the frame like that and then you're just sliding it from the outside in so um, you'll see that there's a little groove that is that the sits back there i don't know if you guys can make that out but um, it's kind of hard to do it behind the camera so just slide it in there like that and then it just snaps all the way in and then once that's done then you go ahead and close it back and the lens is now in place and you're ready to go and obviously you would use your microfiber cloth to kind of clean it off and all that so very easy to uh, switch out the lenses so again very versatile frame if you're going to be using um, like maybe you use the gray lenses for just every day and then you need the clear ones for your job or something like that you can go ahead and swap them out really easy and then once you're done you swap back to the gray and you're good to go so let me see if i can show you guys uh i'm hitting the microphone there but right in here there's a there's a stamp right there it says uh z87 plus so the frame itself right here is stamped and then there's another one right here in the switch lock and um, on the inside here, you have it on the opposite end here, and then it does say uh, Hannibal right in there. And then as you open up the switch lock here, the lens itself, and again, I'm trying to see, there it is. The lens itself is also stamped um, Z87 plus there. So again, if you were to have to use these for, um, you know, any type of eye protection for your industry or your business or something like that, you are able to go ahead and use these because they are ballistic and they are rated. So um, as always, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and put these on so you guys can see what they look like on me. All right, guys. So again, this is the uh, Oakley standard issue Hannibal. Um, this one being the array with the gray lenses and the clear lenses in the matte black frame. I'll go ahead and put these on so you guys can see what they look like. 
So as I already mentioned, it has a really nice wrap. It sits really close to your face, which is um, it's great because you're not going to have to worry about them getting in your way, especially if you're going to be wearing um, you know, some sort of head protection like a helmet or a hard hat or even hearing protection like if you're using them at the range and you have your earmuffs on, the, um, the stems sit nice and close to, to your head and um, they're not going to get in the way at all. Really nice protection on the sides here. So all around it, it creates a really nice seal. So these are perfect for um, any type of uh, you, know, you know tactical activities, rugged activities, construction work, things like that. These will definitely be able to, to handle all that. And again, they are um, stamped both the frame and the lenses, Z87+. Plus. So if you are in an industry where it requires for your eyewear to have that, you can go ahead and, uh, and use these. The um, switch lock technology, again, to switch out the lenses, very, very easy. As I mentioned at first, you do have to kind of play around with it because it is nice and stiff, which you do want it. But um, they do loosen up just a bit, not enough to create any type of problems, but um, you can go ahead and um, be able to switch them out a lot easier once you, you've done it a couple times. Again, you know, just um, just kind of you know put a little muscle in there and it'll snap open, and then you can switch out the lenses, and then it'll just snap close. So very very comfortable. I can throw these on top of my head, um, and you know, just uh, if I were to walk in a place where I you know don't need my glasses, and then once I'm done, just bring them right back down. And then um, I like the fact that they did include the, um, the the strap for these, so you can put the strap on again if you're going to be doing um, some sort of activities where you're going to be worried that the lenses will come off or the frames will come off you can go ahead and throw that strap on and then once you don't need it you can take it off and put it back into the case and then they do, did include that little bottle of the anti-fog solution so you can go ahead and uh, apply it whenever you see that it's uh, it's fogging up a little bit and that does help uh, depending on the industry again if you're using them for shooting or something like that you know it, it helps in that situation it is available in a, um, a kind of desert color frame as well and then you do have those other two lenses, the TR22 and TR45, which are more shooting specific lenses. So um, if you guys are interested, like I mentioned, I'll leave a link below to the standard issue um, site where you guys can pick these up if you are a member of that site. If not, um, as I saw, some of the stores have been carrying the ones with the clear lenses. And then hopefully down the line, they'll be able to um, maybe get some of the other uh, color lenses. So if you want to pick them up at the stores, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, now I know my local Oakley store has them in stock. So um, again, that's a, a look at the new Oakley Standard Issue Hannibal. Um, I think it's a, it's a great pair. Uh, as I mentioned, it's kind of like a tactical looking Gibson. If you guys are familiar with the Gibson model, um, this looks uh, looks very similar and fits very similar to it. Um, but uh, you know, obviously because of the lines, it's a little bit more of a tactical, more rugged look to it. So there it is. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.